At least 22 council wards have been overrun by armed Fulani terrorists in three local government areas of the Benue state with scores of residents who fled their homes taking refuge in internally displaced persons IDP's camps. The local governments affected include Makorodi Gwaya West and Guma Gwaya West local government area. The senatorial candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, for Benue Northwest Senatorial District, Dr. Titus Zam, made this known at the Nigerian Union of Journalists Interactive Week in Makodi. When I come to say, my advocacy will be that yes, open prison law, open prison provision law, civil law, and this, the law, the constitution allows the states the power to make laws to the House of Assembly. The implementation of the law should be targeted at the elders. And when that is done, when you address the cows simultaneously, you should be able to position your own livestock guys or community volunteer guys to face whoever comes after the address of the cows. These are some of the areas that I think that law needs to be engineered, re enacted, and refreshed to give them a more enforceable effect. Comrade Nyinongo Chairman NUJ also corroborated the senator's claims and called on well many Nigerians to support the amendment anti open grazing law to the Senate to curb the spate of killings and attacks in the state. You will be here this afternoon to be a good wife. And at the end of the day, we shall have possible justice to the presentation here today. I am sure that people that are here will do much less than ensuring that this presentation today will be on the shores of this country. But here, we shall see. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.